under their supervision. Because that's where actually where uh, mental allowed youth start out before they move on to um, adult prison. Their own risk assessment tool is that measure 11 offenders aren't at the highest risk of recidivating. But this is the trick. So some of these plea agreements are actually, there are a bunch of young people originally indicted, charged with a measure 11 offense that are not juvenile probation, adult probation. So we have to, we have to, we're asking the question in the state, so severe, so scary. And they're like, you know, why are they being supervised in the community? like, all right, they're, they're in the community. That's a great place for them. But we're saying, but um, that follows are you around for the rest of your life, right? So like, now all of a sudden you've got a lifelong set of barriers. Like you have a part of felony, right? Those are real barriers. So, so we're asking this question, all right, so if these are supposed to be the being overcharged and then they plead out to these lesser agreements that are still saddling them with these lifelong barriers of adult convictions um, on their record. And you know what, that seems actually frankly like a seriously misuse of a set of policies that we're supposed to. One is, it seems, it seems as if, and I'm not gonna get into details here, but it, it's in the report, that black youth in particular seem to be um, significantly overcharged. Because the majority of the two, the like uh, robbery and lower level assault. Um, and, uh, and then the other eight. So, you know, the, la the other slide I showed you, right, the one slide that before showed you how like all these youth who were originally charged with medical crime end up with something else, something different, something less. But left of actually um, getting convicted, raised these questions to us. If that's the case, given how, how high the rate of plea agreements are, um, it seems to us that our system is not even close to being culturally competent. And we actually think uh, that cultural competence of the, uh, the legal help and the court proceedings that people are getting have uh, such a high rate of the original of that original conviction when everyone else seems to be getting better things. But the, something's going on there. You know, all the research from around the country, research that's been done by the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, research that's been done by the U.S. Department of Justice, has all shown, first of all, I'm not going to talk about this but, but um, this minimum the adult system fundamentally goes up against everything we've learned in the past 10 years. Um, and, that, and that even if some of the youth who are, being, uh, are, are getting measure 11 sentences, um, even kind of plea out to like lesser sentences. I want to I measure 11 um, is not only responsible for the doubling of our prison population, but uh, you know has a dubious distinction of treating young people automatically as adults, and it's seriously bad news. Um, and we're and we're trying to actually highlight those issues um, kind of separately as well because we feel like. Um, get it done in 2013 in terms of kind of taking on the full package of correction reforms that are needed. This issue of how young people are impacted by Measure 11, that's got to change. And then we're going to...